Maybe I'll just keep redrawing this every year for Mermaid. What do you guys think? I think I think that's a cool idea. I think there's a couple art channels that do that. They like to have one piece they do every year over and over again. It's uh, that's fun. Let's do that. All right. Yeah. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Actually, of course I did, because I set up the f***ing camera. Anyway, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, depending on which time zone you're watching this from. Uh, today is May. It's gonna be May. Sorry, I had to. It's just, you know, what can I say? It's my millennial tendencies. Anyway, today is the first day of May. That means the Mermaid Challenge has begun. I don't know if you guys know this, but there was a challenge that's very popular... Uh, similar to Inktober called Mermaid. Feels like it kind of died down a little bit in terms of popularity, but it also gave me the opportunity to do a progress check-in sort of thing. So last year, I did a recreation of an older piece, and I thought this year, maybe I'll just do another drawing, you know, sort of a recreation and see how I improve. It's sort of good to have a progress check-in. Let's get into it. We're gonna uh, get into sketching. Alright, so for the sketch stage, I decided to crack open the uh, sketchbook and just sort of plan out some thumbnails to see how I would do this. I'm probably going to change up the pose um, compared to the previous one, so it's not going to be the exact same pose. I guess sort of a, a character refresh um, sort of idea that's going on here. And yeah, I just kind of did some rough sketches, just general poses. And, you know, I wanted to approach this still having a bit of the... Uh, you know, sinister nature of the original drawing, you know, but also, you know, a little bit of the sexy edge to it, too. Sort of like that femme fatale vibes, right? And, um, yeah, I, um, sketch a couple out. I think the one where she's laying down is probably the best one and also probably the biggest challenge with the, uh, foreshortening. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so for the um, initial illustration in terms of the line work, you know, obviously I started with the first uh, gesture drawing, you know, line work, you know, iterative sketches. Um, obviously, I always change the background to like a mid-tone gray just so, you know, the white isn't blasting my eyeballs, you know. Um, you should always do that, by the way, if you're getting started with digital art, if maybe you're a traditional artist, because actual pages aren't a pure white, uh, unlike the screen that defaults to, but yeah. So, it came together pretty quickly. Um, I did pull up some references for the textures um, and for the scales and the rocks. So, for the uh, scales, I referenced Berserk because there's a chapter where there are a bunch of mermaids in it, which I guess minor spoiler, but I mean, what do you expect from a fantasy manga? But yeah, I just like the way that Kentaro Miura drew the tails in there. Um, I put them on screen, but they all got their tits out, and that's a big no-no on YouTube for some reason whatever <laughs> but yeah i i kind of drew the uh inspiration for the way the scales are drawn there and for the rock texture i've actually been reading through fist of the north star and the way that tetsu ohara draws rock formations is like amazing okay i know what you're thinking like really that's what you noticed in fist of the north star the rock formations not the intense brutal gore uh, that shit is brutal <laughs> You gotta be in a certain mindset to read that manga, but yeah, that's something that caught my eye when I've been reading through that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the uh, vibe and intention behind it. I also was trying to get the proportions right and the 
and you know the anatomy you know stuff like the breast being squished by the rocks because she's laying on top of them you know um and yeah um decided to go with the uh decided to use a grayscale coloring underneath and then sort of build up layers of color on top so yeah that's sort of the intention of the process as i began so there has been some progression in my art, but you know what there hasn't been? Progression in the subscriber count. Why don't we fix that, huh? 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 I wish I was aborted. So when I got to the lighting segment, I guess you could say, I've been trying to like push my shadows and lights to be a little bit more intense, to have more contrast. There was actually an extremely good video recently by um, Angel Ganev, where he broke down light and shadow that I would recommend to everybody. Um, but yeah, I was trying to really push the light and shadow a little bit more, make the contrast more intense, make the uh, overall composition of the piece better. And uh, I don't know, I feel like it's just not quite there yet. I feel like I'm getting there, but I haven't like hit that breakthrough, you know what I mean? Like where you're surfacing on a breakthrough, you can feel it coming, but you're just not there yet. But yeah, the light... Um, I think it could have been done better. I could probably use more vibrant colors. I did want to keep the color composition somewhat similar to the previous year's piece. I did, however, change her skin tone because, well, I like pale chicks, but that previous uh, year's piece was like page white. <laughs> Nobody's actually like, well, actually albinos, but you know what I mean. Whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so there was that, and... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the lighting could have been pushed a little bit more, and, you know, I think everything could always be pushed a little bit more, but, yeah, it was so far so good at this point. Alright, so, to wrap it all up, to give my final thoughts on this particular image, you know, this recreation, this redraw, this annual mermaid illustration, whatever you want to call it, um, I do think it's better than last year's, but I don't think it's that much better, honestly. I'm not entirely happy with myself on this one. I think it's still pretty good, you know? But it's not quite where I want it to be, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I could definitely push it more if I'm going to critique it. Um, hold on, let me just pull it up and actually look at the image. Definitely the shadows. I feel like the shadows are a little too muddied. Um, but, you know, they do their job. I do think the light could have been a little bit more colorful. It's too much on the white side, you know, a little too, uh, I guess, desaturated. Could have used a little bit more color there. A line work could have been a little bit cleaner, obviously, but, you know, I guess I'm kind of getting known for my sketchy line work. <laughs> uh, but the water, um, 
Eh, the water's a bit rough, but not horrendous. I don't know. Probably could have rendered that better. Um, the blood on the trident's probably my favorite part. I feel like I did pretty good there, even though there's definitely parts where I'm looking at it now. It's a little off, but the actual blood on the trident, not dripping off of the trident, I think that came out pretty good. Uh... You know, the facial rendering feels like it could have been a little bit better, even though I gave her those, like, raccoon eyes that I like. <laughs> I, I don't know, I just like that, alright? Don't be a hater. <laughs> um, yeah, and I don't know, it, it could have used a little bit more work, um, but, you know, just want to get the video out and move it along. Um, yeah, scales could have been a little bit cleaner, too, but... Well, that's something to focus on next year when I recreate this piece again. Alright, well, gonna hand it back over to uh, Flesh John and we'll wrap this one up. Anyway, let's see our progress. <laughs>